All right, how is everybody? Good? Good? Outstanding. All right. Had a couple rules of business here real, real fast. Um, number one, my IQ is purple. So if you have a question, talk slowly, okay? Uh, number two, uh, there are no other rules. That's really the only big one. Um, so quick question uh, with everybody here before we get uh, into introductions and, and things like that. How many of you all are DAV chapter or department Facebook admins? Outstanding. How many of you all are here because that's what you intend to do? Outstanding. All right. Facebook will be a majority of our discussion, but I definitely want to have a good time with Twitter as well. Again, if you got questions, just jump in. There's, there's no, no rules in that regard. Uh, my name, as you can see up there, is James Killen. Um, I've been uh, in the social media sphere basically since, uh, since Facebook started, if you will. So, uh, so I've been around it for a while. I've managed quite a few pages. DAVs is definitely the largest page uh, that I've managed. I have a tremendous team um, with me, and some of them are here today. Uh, so if we've got questions that I can't answer, I've at least got subject matter experts uh, in the room who can help out as well. So um, ladies, if you all don't mind, feel free to jump in anytime you'd like. Um, so be, beyond that, a little about myself before we get started. Um, I'm a former United States Marine. Ooh, rah. We got any devil dogs in here? Ra. All right. Um, did two tours downrange in Iraq, did Hurricane Katrina relief operations. Last time I was in New Orleans, it was under several feet of water, and we were plucking people off rooftops, which is pretty fun. Um, terrible circumstances, though. But uh, um, beyond that, I joined the United States uh, Air Force, well, the Kentucky Air National Guard when I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, flipped over to the dark side. I got out of the Marine Corps as a sergeant. Um, and I pick up captain next week. So I've uh, so been, been working uh, that way. I appreciate that. Uh, th thank you very much. Um, continue, continue in my, my service. But uh, I tell you what, I've, I've never worked for an organization uh, that I like as much as DAV. Uh, you all are wonderful. I love talking to everybody that, that grabs me. And I feel like I work with my family. <clears throat> Actually getting a little choked up talking about it. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll stop running my mouth. Um, a little bit on the, the agenda, because I know people like to know that. The big thing, this is a really simple PowerPoint slide. I did not want to overwhelm you all with this kind of stuff. I want us to have a dialogue and have a discussion. Um, so I know everybody in here is going to learn more through the crosstalk and, and the back and forth and, and seeing what challenges you have, and that's what we want to address. So I don't want to just stand up here like a, a professor in a college classroom. Um, I, I want you all to, to talk about the challenges that you have uh, so we can, uh, we can address those ourselves. So the big thing, what, what is the point? Why, why do we do social media? Is somebody, somebody give me the, your why. Somebody give me your why. What's your why? What do you got, sir? To build a brand. To build a brand. I love it. Mass communication, Mass communication is to inform. Reaching the, younger Reaching the younger generation. Back there in the back. It's free. Ah, I like that one too. And unless you're DAV and you know with the national, and then of course sometimes Facebook makes you pay to play. Yes, sir. It is. You're absolutely right. It's the up and coming. It's outreach. And why is outreach important? Membership. membership. It all boils down to, to to membership. Now I'll tell you this as well: thought leadership. All right, how many, how many VSOs are there in the big six? Yes, I did that on purpose, I promise. We've got six major VSOs, right? How many smaller up-and-coming VSOs do we have? Are they, are they more nimble? Do they do social media? Uh, they, they, they do. Wounded Warrior Project, IAVA, uh, Team RWB, all of these folks, um, you know, they... That, that younger generation, and what does DAV need to do in order to make sure that we survive? We've got to reach that younger generation, right? We've got to reach the folks like, like myself. You know, we've got to reach the folks like, um, like everybody in this room. We've got to reach your all's kids. We've got to reach some of you. Uh, some of you look like you've made it past 40. Um, so some, you know, you know your, your kids, your grandkids, we've got, we got to get those folks. How many of you all have sons, daughters, nephews, um, friends of friends or whatever who are in the military serving right now? A bunch of you. How many of you all want them to be members of DAV? How many of you all think they even know what DAV is? 
a couple of you, right? If you all looked around, if you all seen, about half the hands went down. They, and and that, that's the thing. We want them to know. I, I didn't know what DAV was until they started picking my grandfather up when he had, uh, uh, when he had both of his knees replaced. That, that was my introduction to DAV. I, I didn't know DAV existed, and I'd been in the military for six, almost seven years when, uh, when, when I found that out. I, I didn't know. So we got a lot of the younger generation that doesn't know about us. So what do we need to do? We need outreach. We need the marketing. We need to build the brand. Um, and that's what social media is, is, is for us. Now, the difficult parts we're going to get into here in just a second. All right? um, I will tell you, any, any, any person that's in social media right now will tell you that engagement is the holy grail. And engagement is what you're looking for. You're looking for folks to interact with you. All right? So you can't just ignore your social media accounts. You can't go in, post, and then not pay any attention to them. All right? You've, you've got to get in there and actively uh, engage with people. Now, of course, you don't engage with rabble rousers or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. You're not, you don't want to get into arguments. Anybody ever gotten into an argument with somebody on social media? <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain that is the definition of an exercise in futility, all right? Stay away from those things. You're, you're not going to change anybody's mind on social media, but what you can do is be courteous, be respectful, and be a brand ambassador for DAV. That, that's what you can do. Be a brand ambassador for your chapter, for your department, and for the national headquarters. Um, that's huge, all right? So that's what we want to do. Now, how many of you all actively engage on your own uh, Facebook page and the state or national's Facebook, uh, Twitter, and, and Instagram accounts? How many of you all? I want to encourage you all to get on there and do that. Um, if you've ever looked at the comment section on Facebook, a lot of times it's, you know, it, 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 it can go negative real fast, all right? But if you, if you look at the likes to dislikes, so you pop that little icon uh, that says 686 next to the likes and, and stuff like that, you click that, and you can see usually our like to dislike or like to angry is 7, 8, 10 to 1, all right? And that's because people like the message, but they don't like to engage on social media because they don't want to get into arguments with folks. Uh, they, they don't want to do that, but engagement is key. Those comments are key. Um, I got in trouble from Donald Trump one time because of something I did on Facebook. I'm dead serious. People look at this stuff, um, and it wasn't a, I know, right? Exactly. I should hey, listen, sir, okay? I got this. Uh, but, uh, but, but either way, people do listen. They do see. So if you all go on and interact with your page and, and be a brand ambassador, say, you know, DAV does, it really does great things. Here's, a, uh, here's an example of how DAV's helped me. Or here's, and then leave it at that. If somebody comments on it, if somebody goes back or wants to go back and forth with you, you don't have to do that. But you leave a positive comment, whether it's on your page, whether it's on the national or the state uh, page, whatever it is. But at that point, you're showing, hey, one, we're not going to get into the fray, and number two, DAV really is a great organization. And Facebook can, can really amplify that message and show, you know, that we're a group of, of brothers and sisters um, who, have, who have served together and who have respect not only for ourselves, but respect for other people, respect for the, the brand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. I know the purpose is to try to reach out to get people to get them to come on. But sometimes it's just like putting out in the county. I'm not seeing any crowd. Any crowd that's out there getting ready for that great time or any crowd that's going to get there. But I have to know about one third of people that are close together that they also have to have uh, email addresses. And so when they have a chat with me, maybe they're going to be coming on down to the card shop. Because they feel like I'm That, that does happen. Now, I, I know you all are probably ready to answer this question, aren't you? 
Go for it. Go for it. You know what? Uh, like I said, y'all are going to learn more from each other than you do from me. Uh, he, he said, uh, and, and for those, hang on, let me, well, I'm on the wireless mic, so sorry about that, because I have to walk around, otherwise my brain shuts down. Um, basically, what, what he's saying is, is that he, he found the phone numbers of those folks and, and texted them, uh, which is helpful because most people do have phones at this point, and, and you got one too, sir, right? Well, I, if, if I can, I'll, I'll add to that real quick, and that's the, the, the first small bullet up there. That's word of mouth. Now, this is the hard part, but it is a way to, to solve that problem. You get the members that you do have active, and you ask them to reach out. You, you only have to reach out to one person. It only takes a couple minutes. Just reach out to one person and tell them ab about it. Tell them how they can access these things, or set up, a, I know my, my email stay, it stays live all day, all right? So you can set them up an email, if they do have a computer, um, and, and leave them signed in, and that might be the only email they ever get, but at least they get your email. Yes, sir? That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. That's, that's another thing. If, if they've got a member of their family who is close to them, that can act as a surrogate, if you will, to, to pass on that information. But in, in for information is, word of mouth is really the, the quickest way to do it, and that's actually what social media does. Yes, sir? That's a great idea, too. We'll do one more, uh, ma'am, right here. And that well, and I, I'll I'll tell you all this. There, the 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 one thing that's going to be tricky over the next few years is that we we've, we've got a, a a small, mind you, a small but still a significant for our members uh, gap. So we have we have people right now who are in in our older ranks. Um, who didn't grow up with computers, who didn't grow up with technology, um, who didn't really adopt it. Um, and we're also moving into an age where absolutely everything is done electronically. So unfortunately, it does create a gap. Now, the good news is, is that gap won't last very long uh, because our world's getting more and more interconnected by the day. I mean, we're literally doubling in technology every year and a half to two years. Um, as far as our capability. So that, that's, it's going to close, but at the moment we do have a significant challenge with uh, our older veterans, our, our older members, uh, to, to get them in touch. And, and I, I love the idea 
of grabbing a surrogate, asking them if they've got a, a grandchild or a, 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 a child who will take over that, that surrogacy, if you will, and pass the information on to their veteran, and, and people will do that. Yes, sir. That, that's a great idea as well, putting them in, uh, putting them in the vans. Um, so, yes, sir. I, I, I like the, the whiff them is definitely a big one. What's in it for me? You, you, do, have to, you do have to provide value um, uh, to, to folks. You know, if you, if you want them to read the newsletter, tell them how valuable the newsletter is, but do it word of mouth. Do it face to face. Have somebody that they trust, um, and that, that's always helpful. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, in the interest of time. Oh, uh-oh, I heard that. Yes, sir. Is that you back there, Ernie? <laughs> You're, you're about three slides ahead of me, but yes. <laughs> hey, what, what did... <laughs> I, I, I can't say it. I set you up for that one. That, that's right. I, I did like the Admiral's speech yesterday where he said, just don't call me a puddle pirate. I was like, that, that was, I was dying in the back. That was hilarious. <laughs> All right, so uh, we, we are going to get to that. That is, that is a huge one. Uh, I want to talk to you all about how to build your audiences, too. How, are, how many of you all are having trouble building an audience, getting the likes, right? Now, the, the one thing is if you've got a, a chapter, especially if you have a small chapter, you do have to understand and, and manage your own expectations, if you will, that maybe you're not going to have 7,000 likes, all right? So set a reasonable expectation. If you've got 100 members, Maybe multiply that by five and, and say five, 500 is, is my target. That's where I want to get to. And then set small micro goals on how, how to get there. 50 is my, my first target. 100 is my second target. And set up, set up your targets like that. But don't, don't think that you're going to have you know, 100, 200,000 likes. It's not, it's not going to happen. Um, but one of the ways that you do that is, uh, especially on Facebook, is by going to organizations, going to your local news outlets, um, and commenting on things that they're doing, especially if it's relating to veterans, as your page. Don't, don't comment as yourself. You can, how many of you all know how to change who you're commenting as, as yourself or as, as your page? Um, that, that's something that, uh, that, that you, know, you want to get with your, your social media folks on how to do. I probably 
Um, I didn't anticipate talking about that or I would have had a slide to show you. But, um, but you, you change how you comment and comment as your page and then you get that exposure on there. And the other thing that you can do is tag those organizations, tag your local media, tag your, your local uh, charity organizations or, or businesses who, who support DAV or support veterans causes in your area. And that, that's a way, one, for you to get exposure, and two, if you can get them to interact with you, it exposes you to more people on social media, which is a good way to increase your likes. All right, so, so tagging folks um, is, is a great way to do it. Yes, sir? Are you, are you talking about, uh, and ju just to see if I'm, I'm tracking with you, are you talking about all, all of the chapters and departments just being the one main page? Right. That, we're actually in the, in, in the works on that. I, I, when I post to the national page right now, I also post to six other chapter or department pages at the exact same time. Um, now, I've, I've got limited functionality in what I can do with that, but if we grow that, I can expand that. Uh, so right now, I'm limited to, to 50 profiles, but I haven't hit 50 profiles yet. Um, so, it, but once I hit 50 profiles, I'm sure Dan, how many of y'all know Dan Clare, the communications director? Hey, if I hit 50 profiles, that man's going to go through the roof with love. All right, and he's going to say, this is amazing, because that's one of the things we want to talk about um, and, and, and what our, what our coasty friend in the back uh, was talking about, and that's uniting our voice, and, and we are going to get to that. I want, I want to talk about that in a minute, but I do want to talk about building an audience. How many of you all have built a solid audience for, for your specific chapter? Sir, can, can you talk about how you did it? Six to four hundred. <laughs> Six to four hundred is is amazing. That's that's incredible. Uh, it takes a little while. It does. It takes a little while. We had a hand go up in the back back there. Yes, sir. And right. yeah, so hey, I, for, for those of you who might not have heard or want to, want to write it down and looking for a pen right now, I just stuck it underneath the, uh, the overview slide. Now, if I can, is it, is it veterans with an S or just veteran? Veterans. All right, there we go. You're absolutely right. And, and it, so you've got the dot .com there, and you can go to Facebook, go to search, and do veteran, uh, veteran news today, or veterans news today. Yep. Oh, wow. That's terrible. All right, so, uh, so anyway, we, we've talked about, oh, uh-oh, what did I do here? There we go, okay. So when, when, we, when we talk about Facebook and, and what we were talking about, uh, about speaking with one voice, all right, um, in order to be a thought leader in, in anything, you have to have a lot of people who agree, 
all right? Now, we all know that, especially on social media, not everybody agrees on everything. But how many of us agreed that the individual employability uh, issue that was going on with, with the, the past budget, uh, um, how many of us agreed that that was a bad idea? We did, right? So on these major issues like this, if we could get to a point where we're all communicating, that we're all, we're all breaking it down, we've got 1,300 chapters. I would imagine about 650 of them are on Facebook right now. So if we've got 650 chapters that have anywhere from uh, 10 to you know, a, a 1,000 likes, if you will, we can amplify that voice on top of the, the national voice, all right? Um, so I, I have no interest in controlling anybody's page in here. Uh, the only thing that I, that I ask is that you consider the, the organization and the mission of the organization, the mission of your chapters when you're posting. And, and that's being kind, being courteous, being respectful, and making sure that we're posting um, you know, legitimate news, not, not something that is just designed to get people to click on it so that the, the person on the other end can make money off of the ad, tra uh, the ad revenue, all right? So that, that's it, that's the, that's the only thing I'd ask. But one of the big things I know we can do, I know that we can do this as an organization. We can come together and amplify on stuff like the individual unemployability uh, cut that was, uh, that, that was proposed, all right? I know that we can amplify our voice with respect to caregivers. Um, Oh, everybody's eyes just went that way. I was like, <laughs> um, so I, I know that, how many of you all think that, uh, that, that pre-9-11 and post-9-11 caregivers should receive the same benefits? <laughs> exactly, everybody in here. Those are issues that I know we can come together on, and if we can come together and amplify our voice, speak with one, vo uh, one voice, we, we would be the first VSO to be able to, to, to do that, to be able to coordinate the chapters, the departments, and national to amplify our voice on really key significant issues. And I know we can do that. And the, the, the key to doing that is linking, our, uh, linking us together. Now, there is a DAV chapter and department admins group. Now, if you want to email me, um, and I, I'll do this, uh, I'll do this now. Uh, whoops, went, went one too far. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> that just that just made my beautiful lady blush. I apologize for that, but it is PG. Okay, I promise it's PG. Um, so anyway, it, email me at jkillen at dav.org. All right, and say I want to be added to the chapter and, or chapter and department admins page. And I will, add, I will send you a link to join that group. Oh. Is that one of the sections in uh, standard chapter 45? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yeah, well, then, then that's, that's what we need to do. Do you have a card with you, ma'am? Outstanding. So I, I'll, I'll get together with you uh, later, and we'll we'll figure it out. See connections, um, networking. Yep. Connection and networking. You're you're absolutely right. Uh, net, networking, word of mouth, talking to people. Um, now I will tell you that sometimes uh, sometimes it's it, it's you know it, it. Now I won't say that. E email me, and let's get this to let's get this working. Let's get our voices united. Let's get connected. And if you know any Facebook uh, admins that aren't here, tell them, hey, email this guy, I don't remember what his name is, but he talked too much and too loud, um, and let him know that you want to be on the, the uh, chapter and department admins page. Oh. All right, I, I, I tell you what, if you, if you want to be added and you've got your card, just bring it up here, and I'll send everybody one big email with the link. Uh, but don't do it right now, though. Yeah. <laughs>
I would never tell you no. That, that is going to be um, a, a conversation that you'll want to have with your department adjutant if you all want to coordinate that way. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I know some, uh, some chapters and departments don't have quite that much coordination. If you do, that, that's, that's absolutely fine. I, what, what my plan is to do, and I, I don't do it right now simply because we, we don't have enough coordination on the, the admin page. I want a lot more coordination on there. But what I'm going to do is when I have something to post on Facebook, I'm going to drop it in that chapter admins page and let you know what National was putting out today. Now, if you choose to put that on your page, you choose to put that on your page. That, that's great. If, if I'm an admin on your page, which I'm an admin on about six different pages, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and post uh, it, you know, my, myself. Um, I, I do that for uh, Danny, Ol or, uh, Danny Oliver over uh, at Oklahoma. Uh, and I do that with several other folks as well between Wisconsin, uh, Indiana, and California. So um, it's, it's, it's something that I don't mind doing, especially if maybe you don't have time or you don't have the, the acumen, you don't have the interest in Facebook um, or anything like that. I don't mind doing that. But what I'm going to do is drop it in there, and then you can choose to use it or not. Um, and it, it, no mandate whatsoever. I'm, one, I'm not that kind of guy, and two, um, I'm, I, I'm not that, uh, I, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> yes, sir. That. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, my, my grandmother used to tell me when I was a kid, before I did anything, was to imagine if she saw it on the front page of the paper the next morning, if I would still do it. Um, I think Ed Hartman is a good, uh, a, a good barometer as well, uh, because you're absolutely right. Uh, but yes, please send it to me, uh, and, and if we can, we will distribute, uh, ab absolutely. What's up, Ernie? Oh, am I? <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it, that's that's right. I'm I'm doing Ernie's uh, uh, right now. Um, we're we're working on on his page and getting it all set up up there in New Hampshire. All right. So, um, but like I said, you know, I just sat down with Ernie. What did it take us about 25, 30 minutes? Yeah, it, it took us about 25, 30 minutes. We went through uh, and, and got everything squared away, um, and then we were done. And really, the 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 work part only took about 15 minutes. But Ernie and I had a few sidebar conversations too. Uh, so so anyway. Um, Consistency. When you're posting on Facebook, consistency is key. So if you're going to do it, do it. Try to post every day uh, or, or at least post on a consistent schedule. Um, try to set a normal time for when you post. Now, how many of you all know how to schedule a post on Facebook? You, you know, is scheduling, is scheduling posts on Facebook is, is a, a good way to set it and, and let it go. So maybe if, if you work or you've got other, other uh, issues that you're taking care of or anything like that, um, you can go in there at 11 o'clock at night or go in there at 6 o'clock in the morning or, or whatever time it is that, that, that works best for you. You set the post up to go at the time that you, you selected, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, you know, at, at 5 o'clock, whatever it is, um, and then let it go. And then you get into a ritual or you get into a, a, a habit of setting that up and letting it drop at the same time. And one of the things Facebook's algorithm likes is for your post to go at the same time, or at least they're around the same area. One, your audience, typically, if you, if you review your audience and find out you know, when, when they're online, you know, the most or this, that, and the other thing, um, you can query your audience, when's a, when's a good time for you to see our post, anything like that, and just try to figure out as best you can a good time and then set consistent to, to that time uh, and you'll, you'll see that your followers see your stuff a little bit more often, all right? Um, and, and you can also, uh, this, if, you, if your chapter has the budget, if your department has the budget, if you want to do it uh, on your own, and, and you know, I don't know how that works, all right? I'm not an accountant, and I am not telling you anything about treasury or anything like that. But 
pay into play is a good way to, to build your reach as well. And you, you, you know, drop a, a, a couple dollars into, uh, into a Facebook post and, and extend your reach by 100 or you know, 200, 300, wh whatever it is, just to get a few more people in your area or in the demographic that you're looking for uh, to see your, your post. And like I said, that I am not telling you to do that. I'm just saying that it is possible if y'all see all the disclaimers I'm throwing out. My degree's in law and public policy, too. Uh, so you're saying, like, when they say boost your... Uh, right, boost your post. Right, boost your post. Yes, sir. I like this man. Right, and, 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 and less, and you're, you're absolutely right, not disputing what, whatsoever. Um, the, the, the important thing, too, is if you've got something local, um, and by all means, absolutely push it out. Or if you've got something that you see, um, and, and two, if you're on the page, uh, the, the chapter and department admins page, and you see something that, that you haven't seen yet, um, and you drop it in there and say, hey, look, I think we should post this. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly open to that. I do want to hit on something that you just said, though, and... Uh, Sweetheart, I apologize. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> nope. Haha. -ha. Yep. There it goes. I knew it was going to do it. Uh, uh, where's it at? Where's that? Where's that? Maybe it was. Oh, it figures I wouldn't be able to find it right now. Uh, Facebook. Is there one under May? Got to be one around here somewhere. Huh. Well, that's odd. I don't know what I did with it. All right. Here we go. It's probably in downloads. Well, I thought I had something. That's a... Uh, that's mildly embarrassing. I thought I had one. Um, I, I don't have access to the internet at the moment, but uh, and that's again my fault. But um, what we've done, what we've set out to do, and as a matter of fact, you know what? I got I got to show you all this just so I can drive the point home. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and set up the internet here real fast, and and we'll get this squared away because you all have got to see this. I think it's really really cool. Let's, uh... All right. I'm just going to drop that up there. Do you all see that right there? Yep. So we, we've started an initiative to set up Facebook profile pictures that all look very similar. All right, and what, we, what we've also done, so you've got Bedford, Indiana, that's, that's chapter two in, in, in Indiana there. You know, it, that was our pilot profile picture right there. All right? And basically what, what, we, what we do is set it up for however your, your chapter is, is set up city-wise. All right? um, whether it's like we just did Barron County in Wisconsin. Um, we're we're going to do uh, this, uh, the state of New Hampshire here very shortly. Um, and, and we, we did Missouri as well, Kim. Uh, my, my apologies, ma'am, for the delay in that. That was, that was uh, convention and my fault, big time. Uh, but, but anyway, we set these, these pictures up like this so there's consistency across the, the brand platform, which I really like. I mean, he, na he nailed that, sir. But the, the other thing that we do 
if this is consistent and then you set your cover page up to just a, a group of you or, or whatever you think is, is, is worthy that way for, for your page, you've at least got consistency across the brand um, in, in some way, shape, or form. And then what, what we did as well, because how many of you all have your, your page set up? Uh, some of them say department, some of them say DAV, some of them say disabled American veterans, some of them say chapter 19, disabled American veterans, some of them, they have all kinds of different names. And, and what I've started doing, um, like with, with chapter two in Indiana, I did DAV Indiana 2. And then the at symbols, DAV Indiana 2. Uh, and then there's, there's consistency there. So when folks are looking for you, they go to the search function in Facebook, they type in DAV, and a bunch of DAV pages start popping up. And those, those DAV pages, as you come through, well, I'm looking for DAV Indiana. All right now, it, DAV Indiana pops up, and you get, you've got a couple more. And at that point, you can find chapter 2, chapter 19, chapter 35. Uh, you can see all those, and, and it, bring, it brings things up because how many of you all have ever searched for a Facebook page, um, you know, for, for a DAV Facebook page? It, it, sometimes it's difficult. It's even difficult for me. Sometimes I just go to Google and see if I can find it that way uh, because I can't find it in Facebook because we're, we're I don't want to say this as a negative because it's not a negative. It's, it's, it's a progression. Um, we're disjointed, if you will, with how we've set up our pages. And that's because a lot of us started setting up pages in 2008, 2009, 2010, and now Facebook is evolving as a medium, and that means we have to evolve as well as an organization. And that means it, it evolving in, in the way that we have our profiles set up now as well. And I think, again, when it comes to uniting, that's a great way for us to unite as well, is to start pulling these, these profile pictures um, and getting them squared away. They only take a few minutes to do um, now. They only take a few minutes to do now, Kim. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, when, when you do the search and you type in DAV, uh, they'll start to populate in the search uh, function. And then, you know, the next word would be Indiana or Missouri, you know, or, or Texas. It, well, it, it, it would be, um, but like I said, so if you typed in T, you'd probably get Tennessee and, and Texas, you know, that, that pop up. Uh, so it, it would do it like that. It just depends on your internet speed, how, how, how fast you type versus how fast it, it uh, searches. So, uh, but, but it will populate uh, automatically. Uh, so, so anyway, I will. Uh, I'll take this down now that you all. Uh, now that you all have seen it, and uh, <laughs> sorry, Angel, I apologize. <laughs> Those are her feet. Sorry. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so we're when we're talking about uh, uh, connecting with each other, that that's a that's a big one. When we're talking about speaking with one voice, when we're talking about uniting um, as as a team, if you will. Uh, so that we can speak with one voice, we can create, we already have a really powerful voice. We can be more powerful. And it's entirely up to us to come together as, as an organization, to come together as a group. And I think I ran some people off right back there in the middle. That's, a, that's not good. All right, so Twitter. How many of you all have, how many of y'all are tweeters? You got any tweeters in here? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. The one thing on Facebook, Kim, Kim, are you talking about consistency? Can we talk about templates? Uh, because uh, June 19, Google rolled out the new templates because the users and nonprofit right. organizations uh, templates. Right. And they rolled, they have the new templates out, out there. But we had switched over to a template, a newer right. template. Yeah. Right. So what are, you, what are your thoughts on templates? Re really, it... To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. Sarah, do you do you think it makes a whole lot of difference? Sarah is my subject matter expert, um, and so it, and it, it really doesn't. It, basically, it's how people go through your page and what they see first. Uh, you can go through and adjust it, but if you don't, it's really not that. It's it's not going to make any any real difference um, in in how they do it, how they see it, uh, and what what they see. Uh, it's just basically boils down to what they see first. 
um, and, and how the page is organized. But um, most people in here, unless you've got a significant or high degree of, of attention to detail, aren't going to notice the difference between too many of the templates. Um, so so I, I would say it's really not that big of a deal. And, and you won't be punished for, uh, for, for not setting it up the right way. I don't think Facebook uh, is paying too much attention to that at the moment. They just rolled it out to make it easier for nonprofits to, especially on the donate buttons and things like that, or to, to get information. Um, but it, it's, it's not, that, not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> right. Do donate button. We, uh, we're in active discussions on the donate button. Um, I want to call it, a, I almost called it a donut button. Do us. <laughs> yeah, 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 right Right now, oh yeah, as far as the chapters go and how that works, I think there, there's some significant, um, you know, tax implications and things like that. We're looking to, to, to see if we can do it at a, at a national level, um, but uh, like you said, there's a, there's a lot uh, that goes on to there. One, we're a 501c4, not a 501c3. You know, the charitable trust is. The charitable trust has a few thousand uh, uh, likes. We have 1.46 million. So, uh, so there, there's just there's a lot of discussion in that. We hope to one day be able to do that, um, and I think we're getting closer. But and then hopefully once that happens, once that happens, we can figure out uh, how to roll that out you know, with the departments and chapters. I can't guarantee that. I can't promise that. I'm just saying it's definitely on the table, and it's something every one of us uh, are concerned about and, and want to see happen. As we, I'm sorry, uh, a beignet button? Yeah, we call it a beignet. Yeah, what is with that that powdered donut that everybody keeps eating around here? I don't, looking, looking at people, and you're like, you got something like right here all over your face. Did you fall into it? Yeah, right. Yeah, did, yeah. I, I heard that at Cafe, Cafe Du Monde, too. That, that's, uh, that, that's obviously obviously a good place around here. Oh, uh, as, as far as your, like, your operating hours? Oh, open, open. Make it open. Hey, it may, it make anybody be able to see it. Make, make it. make it open. Or unless you're talking about the page admins, and that's closed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they... Right. No, if if you've got a group, if you've got if you've got your Facebook set up as a group, I would encourage you to set it up as a page um, instead of as a group. Um, that that way, at that point, you can you can start engaging more, unless you don't want to, and that that's that's fine. So if you do have a group and you've got to set up like that, yeah, absolutely close it. I, I was thinking I was thinking page. I apologize, um, but yeah, as as a page. Let people comment on your page. Um, it, we, don't, we don't restrict anything um, on the, the main page. You can go write whatever you want, uh, provided it's not, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not you know, vulgar or, you know, distasteful or, you know, uh, racist or sexist or, you know, anything like that. Of course, at that point, I'm going to pull it down. Um, but, uh, but for the most part, you know, I let people speak uh, their, their mind on our page. I, I want to know what they're thinking. I want to know what they're talking about. Sometimes it's completely incoherent, but sometimes they make good points. You know, and it's one of those things that you send up the chain. Say, you know what, I'm going to forward that to this person. I'm going to forward that to this person um, and, and let them see. Um, I'll forward stuff over to the, the National Service and Legislative Headquarters to our senior NSOs and say, you know, hey, Wolfman, you know, can you take a look at this because... I think it's something that you'd a like to know, and b you might want to comment on. Um, and Steve Wolf will go go through and and comment on the the, the page or talk to the person uh, who's on there. It's a great way to figure out what people are thinking. Yes, sir. Um, are, are you you talking about your page? I would set it up as just a regular page, and and you can go in and click create page and do it like that. Now, if you create a group. That's that's different. That's like that's like creating a, a private discussion board. But I, I would encourage you to set it up as a page, not a private discussion board. 
That way you leave it open and, and as many people, like if you've got a news organization that wants to see what you're doing or maybe they caught wind of, of what it is, they can go there. They can't go into a group and see what you're talking about, but they can go to your page and see what you're talking about. Yes, sir. And uh, I, can, I can talk about this all day, but we, we're definitely going to have to jump. Yes, sir. They, they do, yes, sir. Right. That, that, is, that is an additional screening tool that Facebook has rolled out. Uh, where you can you can ask certain qualifying questions, if you will, uh, for people to to join to join your group. But again, that's that's just Facebook putting another uh, putting a speed bump there, um, yeah, to 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 slow them down. But if you've got somebody that's clever and wants to join your group, you know, they it, they they can they can figure it out. All right. So uh, so Twitter. Um, how many people in here have ever flown United Airlines? All right, how many people have ever had a problem with United Airlines? How many people have ever tweeted at United Airlines? How many of you all that tweeted got a response from United Airlines? Within 10 minutes. Twitter, especially for communicating between organizations, is a very, very powerful tool, all right? A very powerful tool. How many of you all uh, who have Twitter accounts have ever tweeted at Secretary Shulkin? You've done it? I know the person who manages Secretary Shulkin's page. She hears you. I, I, I know she does. All right? um, it, it, you get people's ear with Twitter. All right? Twitter is a very powerful communication tool. Uh, no worries. Um, a very powerful communication tool, and I encourage you to set it up. Um, I encourage you to go in there and learn Twitter. Learn how to tag people. Learn what hashtags are, are all about. And we're going to talk about them here in just a second. But um, learn how to build an audience. And we have, uh, I don't think Jim or Al are in here, are they? I haven't seen either one of them. Uh, Jim Prokernier and Al LaBelle are two of the most prolific tweeters you will ever meet. I love saying tweeters. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Um, but, but either way, you can learn from them. That's the uh, Department of Wisconsin legislative director, and uh, uh, Jim has two pages that he manages. That's Chapter 10 in Virginia, and he also has his own DAV Jim uh, page. But uh, oh, but you can learn a lot from from just watching them uh, as well. But go in and 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 set up your Twitter accounts, or and we can amplify again. We can amplify our voice there. All right, you can tag DAVHQ anytime you want to and say, hey, you know, this is important, or, or you know, uh, pu push this out, tag us so that people in your local area know what DAV is. Um, you can uh, start to use hashtags. How many, who in here knows the hashtag for this year's convention? A couple of you? DAV 96, right? A 96 convention. One of the things with hashtags, you kind of want to keep them small or keep the promise one just a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too long as far as it goes, and we're working on, on uh, um, you know, working on trying to find a, a, another one. But either way, um, if, you, if you go in to Twitter and search the hashtag DAV96, you can see everything that's been tweeted about our national convention. Um, you can watch videos. You can see what other people are, are, are talking about. Uh, Rachel Fredrickson uh, from, from New York, is she, she's not in here at the moment either. Um, yeah, all, all the social media gurus are gone right now. They're not here. Um, I'm going to get on them about that because Jim was real helpful last year. Yes, yes sir. Well, 
It's uh, right now for, for our Twitter account, um, the, the main one, we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, we've got five, five people who, who are generally pretty active. Uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah, you, you've got to have, you've got to have uh, the, the the username and password basically to, to go in and, and do it. That, that's true. And Sarah, you were talking about credentials. Yeah, so we're using both and assign our password for credentials. So you can have Right, right, yeah, the, um, the, the username and password for our uh, DAVHQ account is, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Sarah's like, no, no, shh. <laughs> um, but but e either way, that, that's it. As long as you've got the username and password, you can download it on your phone. Uh, sending tweets is really, really easy. Um, you are limited in, in characters, um, and we can, uh, I'm not going to get into why that is because, you know, it, everybody's, Eyeballs in here, a glass, a glass over, and we'll just shut down. Oh, yes. Uh, I know you can link to your Instagram, but you can link to Twitter too? I did not know that. Uh, yes, sir. Right. So, so if you if you don't have if you don't have the time, if you will, because I, I use a social media management software called Sprout Social. Um, so forgive me, because I really I I didn't know that we had gotten to that. I know you can link Instagram, but I didn't know we could do Twitter, uh, which is really cool. But um, it, Twitter and, and Facebook are the way that you communicate with folks are are very different, and so is Instagram. Instagram's just a little different as well. Um, the, the power of Twitter is really in who hears your message, who you're tagging, and what you're hashtagging. Um, so every time we say the word veteran in, on our Twitter page, it's hashtagged. Um, or at least we try to do every time we say the word veteran, um, we hashtag it. Um, every time we, uh, we do something with the Department of Veterans Affairs, instead of saying VA, it increases our, our, our character count. But instead of saying VA, we, we do at DEPT Vet Affairs. Um, and and that, that's, that's so we're talking directly to VA. We're talking directly to Secretary Shulkin. We do VA chair and talk directly to the, the Senate and the House. Um, we, we, we do those so that we can talk to and get our message out to these, uh, these you know, social media managers who can then turn around and say, this looks important. Let me tell the the big guy or the big gal um, what, what's what's going on. What's what's DAV thinking uh, on this side? You can do the same thing um, uh, from a national side, but you can also do it uh, with your local media. You know, if you've got a, a fundraiser going on and you tag uh, WDRB or whoever the the local media affiliate is in your area and say, hey, we've got this really cool thing that we're getting ready to do for homeless veterans or we're getting ready to do for you know, injured veterans or we're, we're getting ready to do for who, whoever, however you set it up. Um, I, how many people in here know news reporters? Anybody know any? They always, always looking for a story, especially a local story. And if you got a local story about veterans, that's a good thing. And that's a great way for you to, to get through those gatekeepers at, uh, at, at media houses and things like that and go directly to uh, that local reporter and tell them, hey, listen, this is what we're doing. 
uh, we engage with, uh, with uh, uh, Nikki, uh, it's Wentling, right? Went Nikki Wentling, um, with Stars and Stripes all the time. We engage with Task and Purpose all the time, where we've created, um, we've created partnerships, if you will, uh, just right there on Twitter, where if we share it and we tag, they turn around and share it too. Um, and, and we've developed those just from tagging and interacting with them on a consistent basis. And one of the really cool things that you can go on and do is say thank you. Say, hey, thank you for running this story. I thought it was really great. Or, hey, I, I read your story on such and such. It's really great. And you start creating that, that dialogue with, with that reporter or with that, that uh, you know, business person or, or whoever, whoever it is. Um, and, and then you're developing that relationship and you're building your brand. You're getting yourself out there in front of folks who you probably would have a more difficult time getting out in front of uh, without Twitter. Uh, and, and that's because, especially businesses, especially on the commercial side, they're paying attention to Twitter. Um, and they have to, because uh, Twitter's a really easy way uh, for people to figure out whether you're, you're active in customer service or you're not. Um, and and uh, again, businesses, especially for-profit businesses or news outlets and things like that, they need to stay, um, and they've got dedicated people for that. Yes, sir? Right. You all are all ahead of me. <laughs> Everybody's ahead of me. <laughs> no, um, uh, actually, it's now in, in my office, I have a, a big whiteboard, and it's, it's got my projects, the things that I'm trying to get accomplished. All right? uh, volunteer for Veterans is one that, that I'm, I work on literally every single day right now. I also have on there social media management course um, that I am working on putting together, and I, I will actually start sometime in early August putting that together for you all. How to use Facebook, how to use Twitter, how to, how to build your audience, how to start. Uh, we're videoing this right now so that we can get this up on YouTube and you can send it to, to folks if they have the wherewithal to spend an hour and 15 minutes watching me run my mouth. Um, that's, now, I'm not guaranteeing you that they have that much willpower or stamina, but if they do, they, they can always see that. But yes, we, we, are, we are working on that. That's a, a significant goal of mine uh, that I am trying really, really hard uh, to, to reach. And, and hopefully somewhere around August, September, uh, might have a little help in putting that together as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll, maybe we'll tap Crosby and see if they can uh, help us out as well. YouTube is a great way to learn. Um, it, it's, it's, you, you get on there and, and type in Twitter for dummies and I guarantee you there's, there's something up there. As a uh, matter of fact, I'd do it right now, but we're, we're running out of time. Um, so it, yeah, we've talked about all that. We talked about hashtag and we talked about that. Okay, actually, I think we're good. Any, does anybody have any questions, high level overview of, of why it's important to have a Twitter account? Because that's really what I want to talk about. I didn't want to get into the meat and potatoes um, uh, too much of Twitter. I wanted to talk about the power of Twitter and why we should be using it and why it's important uh, for, for us, you know, as far as unifying and speaking with one voice, uh, why Twitter is, is, is so necessary. It's instant communication. Instant, absolutely instant. Trust me, this thing doesn't shut up, ever. Right now it's on do not disturb. <laughs> I've basically turned it off right now. Um, I, I, I'll tell you when, um, uh, when Speaker Ryan uh, tagged us about the health care bill and used a photo that was about caregivers um, and, and used it for the healthcare thing. They tagged us and that phone didn't shut up for a day. It actually killed the phone. Um, it, it ran the battery down in about three hours. It just the whole time. Um, so, so anyway, Twitter is 
very powerful. And don't think that Speaker Ryan's people did not read every single tweet. Every single tweet. They, I know they read them. Um, so Instagram. Uh, I Instagram is, is you know, it's, it's one of those things that uh, from a chapter side, I'm not sure if you want to get into or not unless you just love Instagram. Uh, but sharing pictures, especially if you're having fun, it, it's, a, it's a great way to do it. All right? um, if, you've, if you've got a, uh, an event scheduled or, or something along those lines and, and you want to tag, again, you can tag local news, you can tag local reporters, you can tag businesses um, and, and things of that nature in those. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, Angel, you just took a picture of Jackson Square, right? And Marriott requested to use it. So she took a picture of Jackson Square and, uh, and she hashtagged and Marriott found it and asked if they could use the picture. Um, and and it, so it's, it, Instagram again is another one of those, that's a powerful tool and you can see what people are doing. Anybody in here have an Instagram account? All right, so it, anybody here use it for their chapter stuff? Nobody, right? Look around, they're, they're, not a hand went up. Nothing, all right? So Instagram is, and, and, and I know Sarah's probably rolling her eyes right now, and Tierra would definitely be rolling her eyes right now. Um, Instagram is a powerful tool, and it is underutilized. Um, we just went through and developed a new Instagram strategy that, that we're, we're going to be implementing uh, right after national convention, and I, I encourage you all as well uh, to at least consider going in and building an Instagram account uh, because you, you have the, uh, another way to go live, you have a way to share stories. Uh, we posted uh, a, a storyboard, if you will, of, of Dave Riley, Commander Riley, and, and what him and Yvonne have to go through every day just to get him ready uh, for, for the day and how, how she helps him, uh, which was, uh, I said, it's a really powerful, uh, really powerful way to show people what life, uh, you know, life in the day of a caregiver or life in the day of, uh, uh, of an amputee and what all they have to go through. And Twitter's a, or Instagram's a very powerful tool. Yes, sir? Is there a cost involved with Instagram and Twitter? Uh, there, there's, there's not a cost. It's, it's, they're both free. Now, you can, you can boost posts and, and try, to, try to reach more, but it's, it's not required or necessary um, you know, for, for everybody. Interesting. Everybody does Facebook now. <laughs> I know everybody here is like, no, they don't. <laughs> Right. Right, and, and that, that's the thing. If you, if you put it on your chapter page and then share it to your personal page, I, 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 I like doing that all the time. And I will tell you, my mother shares absolutely everything that I post on DAV. Everything. I'm like, thanks, Mom, I love you too. <laughs> thanks, Mom, I love you too. Yeah, it, it does. She, she shares. And that's another thing. When it comes to family, you know, fa family's a great way to, to amplify the voice. So if you're, if you're just starting a page, if you can go in and, and get, just get your family to, to like the page and ask them for the first few, if you wouldn't mind just sharing. Uh, if, if you wouldn't mind just sharing and, and kicking this out to, to folks. Um, and that, that's a good way to boost it and get people knowing because one of the things, we got a lot of people in DAV who know about DAV, but it's great when people who don't know about DAV and aren't DAV members learn about DAV. Kim, did you? Yes, yes, set, set them up. Uh, well, Instagram, you want to set up as a business page. 
um, and Facebook you want to set up as a business page, but I don't think Twitter matters. Yeah, tw Twitter. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, no categories for Twitter. Yes, sir. It does. Now, your, your Facebook page, you can either set up a dummy page and set it up that way, or you can set it up. Uh, I, I run DAV's page through my own personal page. Um, I'm very careful. Uh, of course, I don't, I'm pretty benign on social media anyway, just because I'm, you know, in the military and uh, I, you know, run a major nonprofit social media page. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty benign on, on mine anyway. But, uh, but yeah, if, if, you're, if you're nervous about something like that, you can always just set up a dummy account and, uh, and, and run it through, uh, run it, run it through a, a separate account. Um, I have two accounts because when I started working on D or VA's Facebook page, uh, my, my boss at the time required uh, that we set up a dummy account um, in, in order to, to, to run that page. She wouldn't let us run it through our normal page. Yes, sir. Put, put it on your chapter page and then share it to your personal page from the chapter. So, so go, go click share and it'll, it'll give you a little dialog box and it'll say share to right up here in the top left hand corner. Just pick that drop down and say share to my personal page. Um, and then at that point you can set up whatever copy. And that's the last thing I'll say because we got about two minutes and God bless you all for being able to sit through this whole thing. Thank you very much uh, for those, those people that did. But uh, last... Oh, real, real quick, real quick, la last thing that I'll say is don't, don't share something without sharing at least an opinion. What do you think? This is what we think. Don't just share the link and drop it because people ignore that. They want to see what you think. So, so say something. Um, it, ju just say something like, what do you think? Or this is where DAV stands or, you know, it, it, something along those lines. And thank you very much. All right, that's it. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much.